All right, so here we are with the patch notes for season 10. Well, emergence. Uh, the emergence update is in sight to be, or is a sight to behold. Get the full details and the patch notes. So the dev stream is just for people to enjoy. I'm not really going to have like a reaction to that. I'll just be like, you know, in depth watching it. So I'm not going to react to that, but I will read through what we got here. So we got a new legend seer, obviously pretty pretty overpowered a little bit based off his abilities and he's recon so that's what f five recon legends now i think i think so map update can't wait to check this out that's the world's edge is always kind of like depressing looking so i'm glad it's gonna look all snowy and blue and after months of the aggression mining by the harvester on world's edge the land is over mined overburdened and pushed to its limit. The earth has fractured and erupted as nature is reclaiming what's hers. Him and is scrambling to contain the damage that you've caused using weather controlling machines. The climatizer rapidly cools the surrounding area to sub-zero temperatures and lava siphon stabil stabilizes the Catalera. All right, all right. We have the door busting gun, Rampage. Which is Rampart's new gun, which is actually pretty funny. We put a thermite in it. A lot, a lot of the stuff we we do know about already. Ranked arenas we know about. Whoa, matchmaking. What? Everything's the same for Battle Royale. Uh oh, new bat. Okay. Oh, well, they have to make all. They should have like spread these out a little more. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, <laughs> I'll hold on response. That's, you know what? I was looking for that. That's actually perfect, because I was waiting. Like, people are, like, trying to fight and push and push, and I'm just like, wait, give me, like, I was like, there should be a, a, a line to say, like, give me a second. So that's actually perfect. I was actually waiting for that. Added distinct sound effects to gold... Backpack revive. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's cool. And updated the heirloom store to give players a better view of all the items related to that item. Oh, okay. I thought they were like going back to like change it. Okay. That's cool. Uh, updated open pack button to show how many packs of each type were available. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Ooh, legend meta. All right, so we do know that Fuse, we were aware of his buffs. Um, he can see the walls now, apparently, with his ultimate. His explosion duration has been increased by 100%. Grenade passive can be toggled on or off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, Fuse continues to struggle. We identified two opportunities to help him that just weren't enough and give him more damage. We believe Apex is a gun game first and foremost, and therefore we... Uh, wait and therefore want to make sure we don't put too much damage into characters' abilities. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good pretty good buff. Uh, reduce the slow after the initial black hole pull. Wait, reduce the slow? So that's good or bad? I think it's good. I think it's good for the opposing team. Bump the horizon's gravity lift up to speed. To happily medium between 9.1 and like okay oh yeah that's i think i think horizon will literally be perfect she'll be in a perfect place now i think so uh there's no doubt that the nerfs horizon received with legacy were necessary but given the benefit of time and hindsight we, we decided to we probably hit the speed of our tactical too hard instead of completely reverting that part of the nerf we found a happy medium between how fast our gravity lifts operated at least in how slow it was after the nerf. The one's hard, this one's hard to communicate with numbers, so just give her a try and tell us everything, what you think. All right, yeah, I think she'll be like in a perfect spot now. Uh, there is now a visual and audio cue when death totem protection is about to end, which can be seen and heard by other players. Added a reef slow after being recalled with death totem. Okay, I think they're just trying to help out like the rev team thing. Caustic. Uh, gas damage starts at 5, increases by 1 every other tick. 
Tactical cooldown, so reduced to 20. Ultimate. Okay, so like they're trying to bring cost it back a little bit. Okay. That's it for all the legends? Dang, so we pretty much knew all this already. Wow. That's it. Okay. Weapon meta. Yeah, so pretty much know about all this too. We know about the boosted loader. We know that the Spitfire and the alternator is going in the care package. And the receiver and quick draw. Okay, yeah, those are both. I mean, and Rose Heaper is pretty good, but. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so Peacekeeper is gold. RE is gold. Flatline is gold. What? Gold charge rifle? Wow. Okay. Magazine attachments, reload speed, stock. All stocks now offer increased reload speed instead of magazine. That's pretty good. We know about the L star already. That has a. Oh, and that takes barrels. Projectile via the effect scale. Okay. Yeah, so the L star is going to be insane now. I mean, not that it already kind of was slept on before. Reduce headshot multiplier. That's good. Definitely good. Increase limb shot. Okay, that's good. Just you need to bring down the power on LMGs because it's just so so powerful. Reduce handling time for speed ten percent. Okay, that's good. Wait, the time? Oh yeah, so that yeah, definitely has to be brought down a little bit for sure. Okay, decrease or damage ink. Why are you increasing it? From 18 to 19, hit fire spread back to season eight. What is, oh, what's going on in the care package? I almost lost my mind there. Okay, I forgot about that. Hold on, I gotta read what they have to say. We've all woken up with a cold sweat in the middle of the night from a nightmare where Rampart with two gold mag spitty chases you on the world's edge tracks. <laughs> Laughing maniacally as she shoots for eternity, right? Right? Well, for those of us who that have, will be able to sleep soundly for a while. Spitfire takes its rightful place as a supply drop weapon this season. We hit a few recent patches, um, and still have, and still want it to be a desirable supply drop weapon. So we're walking back those nurse while making it much harder to access. Okay. Disruptor rounds, which you can equip on the supply drop alternator. Wow. All right. Uh, 3030 reload from stock significantly reduce bolt fire scaling for each rarity. Okay, so it even might be back down to where it was before. Okay, the either ace uh, speed makes it forgiving and formidable shock on the run. It's pulled ahead of the pack and has been seen a clear choice for many, leaving the peacekeeper, mastiff, and Mozambique in the dust. This change should help even the playing field when it comes to shock. All right package arena adjustments so putting down the prices a little bit putting up the prices for the uh, L star I'm not gonna lie we uh, pretty much saw oh wait let's see okay we pretty much seen a lot of these patch notes already um, nothing really new here that much just a lot of bug fixes, which is good. Do I see Lola in here? Okay, lots of fixes across the map to address uh, issues with exploits, hiding spots, and inconsistency with using Lola's tactical. UI fix, the amount, the ammo count in Lola's black market should not display correctly. Okay, I don't remember that issue, but I'm just saying there should, like every single update, there should be fix a lot of uh, problems with their tactical. Like that should always that should always be a no in the patch notes. They should always be actively trying to fix that. They did a really good job. Like it's actually really good now. But <clears throat> oh my god, look at Valkyrie. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I Alright, well that was not really too many patch notes. Um I was looking for like the colorblind changes 
trying to see if that was a thing, but honestly, not much this season. Um, definitely check out the dev stream to see anything that we probably missed. And um, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I just can't wait for season 11. I'm already waiting for season 11. Uh, there's going to be the collection event patch notes. We'll probably have a little bit more to it, but it's going to be a while before we see anything like big. So that about does it for now. And yeah, I hope everybody enjoys season 10 tomorrow. I hope everybody's having a good time. And yeah.